Hi, this is Pastor Ken Durham from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana. And I'm just going to continue the series on the Saturday hymns and where they come from and how they were created. Ephesians 3, 19 states, May you experience the love of Christ, though it is so great that you will never fully understand it. Then you will be filled with the fullness and power that comes from God. The love of Christ, a simple truth that boggles the mind and is beyond the understanding and has been and continues to be the theme of many a hymn and songs in churches today. One fine example would be the hymn, Jesus Loves Me. Based not on a scripture, but a secular novel, the novel was entitled Say and Seal, written by Anna Warner in 1860. Hymn writer William Bradbury read the words of the book's main character, John Linden, a Sunday school teacher who sang over one of his students who was dying with cancer. It inspired him to compose a childlike musical score, adding the simple chorus himself. It soon became the best known children's hymn on earth, being used by missionaries as one of the first hymns being taught to new converts. Numerous stories were told of the universal appeal of the song that it has in every culture. Think of the richness in the theology of these simple verses. Verse number one, the importance of discovering the truth by reading God's word and knowing it is for all people. Verses two and three, Salvation only comes from Jesus' death, shedding His blood for our sins. And since He died for us, we should live for Him. And verse 4, He promised to never leave us and is preparing a heavenly home for us. Jesus loves me, this I know. How? Because the Bible tells me so. Take some time and sing this simple hymn. Seize the moment and take hold of these simple promises for your life today.